here is uh, the information board on the Dean Crow Hall and so um, it basically shows you um, the spire um, and various architecture of the original um, of the original uh, church with the parochial house on the right hand side and at the very back of that just about there um, in there would have been the parochial house where Gilmore is not the parochial house but the sarcastry where Gilmore would have come out, out of St Peter's uh, RC Church Roman Catholic um, that also was the church that um, a young John McCormack was taught by a very good friend and a confidant of Patrick Keating later on about 40 years, 50 years on um, his name was Michael Kilkelly so we'll go a little bit further that, that is uh, the, the River Shannon Bridge built in the um, 1840s or in that time frame to expand the railway to Galway and it was about that bridge that uh, Patrick Keating um, composed an overture and gave it to William Dargan to uh, give in turn to Queen Victoria. Um, she's supposed to have played it every birthday on that birthday on her anniversary. And there is St. Peter's itself. Uh, the River Shannon is um, the widest river in Ireland and over this side and we see it heading the rest of the way. Here we are looking at the castle uh, still and it's very easy to forget that one of the great heroines of Irish history, particularly during the famous Williamite Wars, um, some will have heard about the wars of 1690 when King William of Orange came across to Ireland and basically um, had a famous battle in the Boyne. However, um, one of the people that fought him back, um, fought back King William and his forces, was um, a man called Patrick Sarsfield. Patrick Sarsfield was um, was a, a, an earl, um, a lord. By another title but he was also apart from being a member of the aristocracy of the pale at the area around Dublin he was also uh, very very supportive of the Irish cause at that time and he's famously known for beating the English back uh, at um, Limerick the siege of Limerick however in that loan he beat uh, he took part in the siege of um, Athlone in 1691. How are you? Here we are looking at the bridge from the side and we see the height those people are above the bridge. Now imagine Gilmore and Ganley on the walls of the bridge uh, playing duets to the famine. Playing duets to the people who were starving uh, and for a moment they forgot about their their hunger their worries their troubles should they emigrate should they go back to the landlord to get more abuse 
or whatever. And as we pan just down here, uh, we see um, the remains of an older bridge where, which used to cross the River Shannon. And it was somewhere along here, I believe, that Patrick Sarsfield and his forces in 1690 or 91 fought back the Williamite forces and stopped them momentarily coming across the River Shannon. One can imagine how excited a young lad like Gilmore would have been about this news of someone holding back the aggressor, someone fighting on their behalf. So when he was choosing to, um, to adopt, let's use that word, to adopt a new name, uh, maybe to give the impression that um, he was okay, uh, because Patrick Sarsfield was known to be uh, Lord Lucan. But if you didn't know and if you didn't check closely, you would have forgotten that Lord Lucan, or Patrick Sarsfield, had fought off the English here in Athlone and beaten off the English in Limerick. Um, and that was the story behind his name change. Patrick Sarsfield Gilmore hardly ever used the name Sarsfield very rarely at least. He always signed himself P.S. Gilmore. His wife always knew him as only Stephen. And Stephen was what he, he was baptised as um, uh, in 1829 on St. Stephen's Day, uh, commonly called Boxing Day. So, we'll go a little bit further. The King of France, played by Gilmore's band, the Columbia Record. 